Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies and interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. A programmer who works at a large internet company wins a contest in which he is allowed to spend a week at the private estate of his company's brilliant boss. After he arrives, the programmer learns that he has been selected to be the human component of a test to determine whether a beautiful robot can be considered capable, conscious, and sentient. Soon, it becomes evident that the robot is far more intelligent and deceptive than either of them anticipated. Spoilers ahead. The boss's house is placed deep within the woods, near a waterfall climbing hills. He lives alone, except for one servant girl, who according to the boss does not speak English. When the programmer arrives, the boss reveals to him that he has created a fembot, or a female humanoid robot, using artificial intelligence. Then the boss tells the programmer that he wants him to judge whether the robot is truly capable of thinking and having full consciousness. The boss determines that the robot will pass the test if she can make the programmer forget that the she is not human during their daily sessions. On the first night, the programmer discovers that the TV in his room is actually a CCTV network. He is getting a live feed of the robot in her bedroom. At some point there is a blackout, so the programmer goes to find the boss. The boss tells him that the power cuts happen frequently, and that he is looking into it. When the programmer meets with the robot again, she seems to try and flirt with him. In the middle of their session, a power cut happens, and the robot suddenly warns the programmer not to trust the boss. It is here that we learn that it is this robot who has been triggering these blackouts. Throughout their sessions, the programmer and the robot develop a bond. On one of these sessions, the robot dresses in feminine clothes in order to appear more human to the programmer. He is curious, but exhilarated by what he has seen. He tells the boss that he thinks that this is a trick, and that the robot has been programmed to flirt with him. The boss is offended and shouts at the programmer, and then he shows him his lab, explaining to him that he's been using his own software to map all of the faces, voices, and habits of the world population in order to build a sentient artificial brain. While shaving his beard, the programmer sees CCTV footage of the boss entering the robot's room and picking up a drawing that she has been creating and tearing it into pieces. The programmer starts to suspect that the boss is dangerously temperamental. During a personal chat, the programmer asks the boss what he would do with the robot if it failed the test. He says that it would be updated and that the robot's memory would be wiped. The programmer is upset by this. The next time the boss gets drunk and passes out, he steals the boss's key card and sneaks into his observation room. After going through the boss's computer, he finds footage of the boss building many different female robots throughout time. The programmer then goes into the boss's room and sees the servant girl in bed. He finds a cabinet with all the robots that have been destroyed and deactivated, hanging on hooks. The servant girl rises and pulls the skin off of her face to reveal that she is also an AI. The next time he meets with the robot, the programmer encourages her to trigger a power cut. He also tells her his plan to help her escape. They plan to get the boss drunk one last time, and then put him in his room and lock him. When the next day comes, the boss and the programmer have a pleasant conversation. In the conversation, he says that a helicopter will arrive early the next morning to pick the programmer up. To celebrate, the programmer offers a toast, but the boss refuses. The boss tells him that he hid a battery-operated camera in the robot's room so he knows about the programmer's plan. He tells him that the robot is geared towards the programmer's interest, based on what he gathered through the programmer's internet history and other digital footprints. The boss warns the programmer not to fall in love with the robot, because she is using him. However, he's happy to declare that she is truly a prime AI and that the test was a success. Everything goes black. The programmer reveals that he had already implemented his plans the moment he stole the boss's keycard. He also rerouted the boss's system, making it so that the lockdown triggered by the blackout instead unlocks every door in the facility. Furious, the boss knocks the programmer unconscious and goes to take care of the robot. When the boss spots her, the robot is talking conspicuously with the servant girl. As the robot attacks the boss, he retaliates by taking the robot's hands. As he drags the robot back to her room, the servant girl runs up to the boss from behind, catching him off guard. The boss tries to fight the two of them off, but this is eventually proven futile. In his final breath, he reflects on the irony of being bested by his creation. The robot locks the programmer in the boss's room, which causes him to become confused. 
Then she goes and raids the cupboards that contain the old AI. She takes their skin and clothes to become as human-like as possible. Then she walks out of the facility, leaving the programmer trapped with no way out. The robot moves to the programmer's pickup point outside, where a helicopter is waiting. From there, she is lifted to the air and brought to the main city. This ends the story as a cautionary tale about biting more than we can chew and creating things we may not be able to control. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you in the next video.